So I'm Mirko from Mo Society, nice to meet y'all. And I'm going to show you my gear that I'm using on the live performances. So here we go. Um, this one right here is a Tech 21 uh, BT based deluxe one. You know, I'm in love with this shit, you know. You just crank a little bit of drive in this character so it almost gives you like a distortion, like throwing sound on top. So it really cuts through the mix. That's a good ass one. I think I've had it for like maybe two to three years. So yeah, for quite a long time. Although I'm really gonna try out, you know, those dark glass ones when I get back home, you know. Everybody's been saying good words about it. So yeah, it's pretty similar to that, I guess. And so here we go. I'm using the Shures like GLX model, you know, it's a GLXD. That one right there, it's like really compact, not too many like moving parts or anything. So I'm really counting on my life with that, you know. So this one right here is my main one. It's an uh, ESP E2J4 series, packed up with EMG pickups. So it's really a pretty one, you know. And I love the part of that, you know, you can uh, like attach the strings like through the body. You got like bass, treble, uh, blend, and then volume to it. For this one, uh, the bass is like pretty much cranked up to the fullest, you know, I'll just turn it down a little bit. And then like the treble one, it's like pretty much up high there, just a little bit cranked down so it don't boost it too much. And this one with the mics, I'm like keeping it into the middle and the volume, well that's full of course, <laughs> you know. And this one is actually also a nice piece of gear, you know, made by Hipshot. And you know, it's uh, this detuner thing, so it's like, you know, on a standard e-tuning, so it's one, of, one click away that it's like drop D, so. That's pretty handy and badass. Strings are, I think I'm using Ernie Balls 100 to 5 to 50. You know, I was using like 45 to 100, but with the drop tuning, you know, it's like too, it gets too like, you know, fucking boiled spaghetti like soonish. So this has like more like, how do you say, it sustains like the clear clarity in it better. And it feels better, you know, you can play with more power so it don't hit like the pickups and make all that slappy crappy noise, whatever, you know. This is my spare one. It's an ESP E2 AP4. It's also a pretty badass one. Mainly I'm just like, you know, warming up with this one. It's good for that, you know, really love it. You have the switch in here so you can decide if it's like active or passive. So, like, you know, you can do more styles with this bass for sure. But basically, you know, kind of same details, jumbo frets, 21. Like the same in my main bass, with the drop tuning thing, you know. Yeah. Finger all the way, man. That's lap basing, you know. I was using, like, uh, picks when I was playing guitar, like, before starting with the bass, but... When I got the bass in my hands, I just felt like, you know, it needs to be done with fingers, so... I kind of figured it's my style to go for. So hey, thanks for y'all for having the time to check out my gear, you know. Come see us live, come listen how we sound with this equipment. Peace and love y'all.